Hi, welcome to another episode of Data Analysis and Policy Show, the show where we turn data into analysis so that you can create the right policies. My name is Ronnie Camira. If you want to know more about the effect of the coronavirus on a Caribbean economy and your economy, please sign in and stay tuned for the next 15 minutes. And please share this episode on your walls because more people can see what is going to happen with the coronavirus and what are the impact of the coronavirus on many islands, especially the Caribbean islands. So my name is Ronnie Camira, and if this is the first time you are here, we have a weekly show called Data Policy and Data Analysis and Policy Show, where we show you the power of economic models. We show you the power of analysis. Um, as you know, an economic model is a system where you can simulate the economy. You can monitor the economy. You can analyze the economy. And that is what I have been doing the, the past 24 years. I've been creating economic models for over 10, uh, 10 islands in the Caribbean. So 10 islands in the Caribbean, including the Eastern Caribbean, all the eight islands of the Eastern Caribbean, and the two islands of the Dutch Caribbean, Curaçao and St. Martin. And today I'm going to show you the effects of uh, the coronavirus on a Caribbean economy and what is the economy we're going to, to monitor today? It's called the Curacao economy, the economy I'm based uh, on. So why would you want to listen to me? You want to listen to me because I've been creating these economic models. I've been analyzing these economies, especially the small island economies. I've been analyzing them for the past 24 years. I've been working with ministers, with investors, with policymakers in the Caribbean, also in, the, the, in Europe. And uh, what I've seen the last years is that the, the economic power has shifted more towards Asia, especially China, China, South Korea, etc etc all those asian economies japan those asian economies are gaining power and if you thought that the united states is the biggest economy in the world no china is the biggest economy in the world and china has a lot of impact on other economies in the world and that's exactly what you see with the coronavirus so before i go into this episode I want to tell you that you want to, um, to sign up uh, for my waiting list because I'm preparing something very, very special and I'm, if you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, but it is about the Chinese economy. If you are interested in the Chinese economy and how this Chinese economy impacts the world to foreign direct investments, to exports, to imports etc etc stay tuned because i'm going to share something uniquely for you uh, with you okay so the next thing i want to share you is i want to share with you my topic of today and my topic of today is effect of the coronavirus on a caribbean economy and your economy now i'm here and what do you think is going to happen there What's going to happen there is I'm going to present with you to you an economic model and the economic model of Curacao. So my point is you need an economic model to do some complex analysis of the economy. Without an economic model, it is possibly impossible to do the right analysis. I'm going to show you an example of what happens with a Caribbean economy if they are impacted by the coronavirus what happens with the economy okay so i'm going to show you now my screen and this is the dashboard i'm not going to walk into the dashboard of everything but here you see the dashboard and these are dynamic dynamic graphs if we run a simulation in the economy and we are going to run a simulation you will see these graphs um, change now imagine you have such an such a such a, a model for the chinese economy imagine that but this one is for the caribbean economy 
So here we see a target of 5% GDP, gross domestic product, the economy, and you see that the economy has not grown um, during the past years. It is actually in 2020, it is actually in a recession and it's projected minus 2.2. So with that figure 2.2, it comes from the economic model. It, the economic model calculates this figure. And it is not only on a spreadsheet that I have this number, but this number is dynamic and this number will change. What you see this graph, another thing is, for instance, we want to look at the number of unemployed. Here you see the number of unemployed and the number of unemployed is actually uh, about 15,000 in 2019 and it's moving up. So this is a projection till 2013. I don't believe in this projection 2013, but this is how the economy will impact. And the last point I want to show you is, for instance, the exports. What are exports doing? Exports, because export is driving this economy. What is the export doing? Let me see the, the exports. Yeah, here you see the exports. The exports are growing. It's growing a little bit, growing a little bit, almost growing a little bit compared to 2019 but the imports are growing much faster the imports are much bigger than the exports so this economy has a deficit on the current account the exports minus the imports are negative you see because we are importing a lot it's a very high um, it's a high income e economy um, so and uh, we all we have many many other indicators around here you see okay so now let me show you to the model let me show you the model because i'm very very interested in what is happening with the stay over and tourism and cruise tourism here you have the stay over tourism it's about let's say three percent three percent growth this is why you always see a 3% growth. And this is the number of stayovers. We have stayovers in 2020 projected of 476,000 tourists. And we have the cruise tourists projected of 770, let me see, put it here, 778,000. So this formula, this formula is a formula in here. And this formula is calculated out of all the other indicators in the model. This is just showing you a peak of the model. This is a complex model, but as a policy advisor, as an investor in the world, as an investor interested in Curacao, you have all the data here and you have all the relevant data and you have all the, the, the impact, uh, possible impact. Now, now we're going to calculate what happens if in 2020, say, let's say 20%, 20% of this amount of cruise tourists and 20% of this amount of stayover tourists uh, decreases. So 20% of people, uh, less people come to Curacao due to the coronavirus. I'm not saying that that is going to happen, but just let's just assume that 20% is going to be uh, to, 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 to decrease that 20% of the cruise tourism, tourists and stay over tourists um, um, doesn't come to Curacao anymore. So there is a drop in the exports, in the stay over and in the, in the cruise tourists. So if you, I can, I can tell you already that if this happens, then the economy will drop in a recession, in a further recession, and it will have impact on the tax. It will have income impact on the gross domestic product. It will have impact on the imports. It will have impact on the current account. It will have impact on the investments. Everything in the economy will will change. So. Without an economic model, it is almost impossible to calculate all those interrelated effects. That's why 
you need an economic model if you are doing policy, if you are making, advising the policy um, makers, etc. We can create these economic models for Guyanese uh, economy, Guyanese economy, from the Barbados economy, for all other small island economies, and also we can create one for the Chinese economy. So stay tuned. Now let's do a simulation, and this simulation I'm going to um, to walk in here. So what I'm going to do is in 2020 I'm going to decrease this with about uh, 20 percent. So 10 percent is about 77,000. You see this figure in here, and then let me just. Uh, a view let me make it a little bit bigger for you so that you can see so 20% is about uh, let's say 154 so I'm going to take 154 out of this uh, cruise tourism minus 154 enter and once you enter you see that everything drops that's what I was telling you this economy is this uh, economic model is dynamic so once this drops and let's go to the right you see it has dropped with about 154,000 cruise tourists because we are looking at the number of cruise tourists here but that's not enough because we also said that what's going to happen is we're going to drop the uh, stay over tourists so first of all let me just change the color of this because we have changed something in there and now we're going to drop the um, the we're going to drop the number of stay over so numbers of stay over let's say it's about 94,000 because that's 10% is 47,000, So I'm going to decrease with 94,000. Boom, it's going down. You see it changing? And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually calculate formula. We're going to calculate, uh, let me put this spreadsheet here. Calculate now. And then by calculating now, you will see the effect. So now let's go to the right. And you see that both the cruise tourism and the stayover dropped with 20%. Uh, so what is the impact of this? Now let me show you what is the impact of this. Are you curious? Let's go to the formulas, the dashboard. How about it? So let's move to the dashboard. And if we move to the dashboard, what you see here, did you see it? Uh, the economy, the, same, the model calculates and all those uh, relationships in the model, they change. And here you see the impact. Now the brown one was what it was before, before the simulation. And look at this, whoop, this is a drop in 2020. So the economy, if the cruise and stay over drops with 20 percent drops with 20 percent this will have an impact of minus uh towards minus 4.6 so that's the end result minus 4.6 percent recession of the curacao economy look at that look at this big chunk in here i'm not saying that the coronavirus is going to affect that that much but i'm, I'm going to say if the coronavirus leads to 20% decrease in the cruise and stay over. This is what is going to happen. But it's not going to G GDP only, the gross domestic product, because also the number of uh, employed and un unemployed are going to be calculated. Okay, so let's calculate again. You see here. So let's calculate again. Number of unemployed. This was before the impact, and this is after the impact it's going to be worse so instead of 15.9 thousand um, unemployed now 16.4 unemployed because of the recession 
the harder recession, the deeper recession, it's going to affect the number of unemployed. It's going to affect the current account, of course, the number of employed enterprises. It's going to affect the debt, you see here. It's going to affect everything. And with the economic model, you can actually see these kinds of effects. Look at this. Exports. Exports are going to decrease, of course. But because of the exports um, and the deficit, the, the, the bigger deficit on the, cur on the fiscal account, the debt is going to increase and it's going to pass the 60% target. Do you see that one? The budget deficit is going to go up. Here you see the pattern of the budget deficit. Unemployment rate. The unemployment rate which was um, higher is going to be yeah, it's going to be much higher. Inflation is going to go a little bit. It's going to be go a little bit down because the economy is in contraction. So you see here the impact of the economy. So that's what I wanted to show you. And now let's move back. Let's move back to this session. So what I want to say to you is the power of an economic model is very visible in this in this simulation because without this uh, economic model i could not have calculated this so rapidly so if you invest in an economic model if you invest in an economic model for your country whether you are an, an investor whether you are uh, a, a ministry at the ministry of finance whether you are uh, in the Ministry of Economic Affairs, where you are, are advising policymakers, this will create a unique opportunity for you to understand the economy, to simulate the economy, to monitor all those interrelated uh, indicators. Now, as I told you, there is a unique opportunity. So, get on the waiting list. Get on the waiting list by typing m.me forward slash policy in paradise if you are seeing this on YouTube or if you are seeing this on uh, LinkedIn you can just click there and then my uh, you will be onboarded first there were some questions will be asked by my by chatbot assistant and you will be onboarded on my waiting list why why do you want to wait for the waiting list before I before I uh, uh, forget if you are on Facebook, the only thing you have to do is click on the message box on this Facebook page and then uh, you will also be onboarded. Uh, a chatbot will open uh, and uh, open a text and will ask you some questions. You will be onboarded on the waiting list. Waiting list for what? The waiting list is for a unique opportunity to discuss the Chinese economy. During six weeks, I'm going to uh, offer a unique opportunity. It's a one-time unique opportunity on the Chinese economy, analyzing the Chinese economy, creating a, 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 a great opportunity. And it's going to be for only 15 people, 15 people, all the people watching this all over the world. Maybe you are one of the 15 people who want to be on that waiting list, who want to experience that unique uh, uh, opportunity. During six weeks, we are going to analyze the Chinese economy. So by analyzing the Chinese economy, I'm not going to should say a lot about this because the, door has not, the doors have not opened yet. The doors are closed right now. But once the doors open in a very uh, short time, the doors will be open and we will be accepting only 15 people through this experience and this experience is especially for people who are serious who want to understand the chinese economy who want to have their figures speak with them who wants to have figures telling them the story who want to analyze everything and as you know chinese economy has impact on Europe, it has impact on the United States, it has impact on Asia because a lot of people are importing, exporting to China and you want to have this information. If you are an investor, also 
analyzing stocks investing etc you want to have this experience of how the chinese economy impacts the world and how the chinese impact economy is uh, is is affecting the world so that's the universe that's the only thing you want to know if you are on facebook please like this episode like this page and forward this episode episode share this episode with the people in your community that's what i want to tell you so if you have any questions regarding um, anything just click below post them below in the comments uh post them below on linkedin post them below on youtube but you want to get on the waiting list the waiting list is going to happen we are going to china see you bye